Yeah, we live. So my name is Jonathan Jones, and I am um, giving you uh, our first video. Um, this is Go Elite, Embrace Life's Instincts to Evolve. And so what does that mean to embrace life's instincts to evolve? First of all, all of us have an understanding of what life is based, of us, based on us being here, based on us having life. So we got that. You know what I mean? So we're embracing the powers that God has given us in terms of life. Some people don't believe in God. Some people believe in higher powers, names, what have you. But ultimately, all of us have a purpose. And that purpose is embedded in us from birth. And so with that being said, we are uh, looking to uh, meet. My wife and I are looking to establish a platform to help individuals and connect with individuals that are in the broken stages in life, emotionally, spiritually, all of the above. And so what we would like to do is connect with individuals where they are. And we're, we're utilizing the social media platforms as well as some other things that we got coming in the works. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for those that have followed us thus far, those that have connected with us thus far, those that know of us thus far. Um, right now, my, my whole uh, purpose of making this video is to, to per se launch us through connecting with you visually. Uh, we've made a few posts that um, um, we, we have been working on in terms of, you know, uh, wording and imagery and things of that nature to get you get you started and so now here we are it's, it's september 22nd we are ready to fall right into our purpose fall season has begun and now we're, we're really to ready to embrace it so with that being said let me dive right into it i'm extremely nervous this is my first video at like i ain't never done anything in front of a camera before but it's extremely uh uh, what is it? It's, it's, it's brain racking to wrap your mind around technology and things of that nature. But anyway, so I'm embracing my purpose right now. I'm stepping out on faith. I'm, um, I'm moving outside of my comfort zone. And I want to connect with somebody that's looking to do that same thing as well. Maybe um, you're not looking to make videos, but maybe you're looking to do something else other than what you're doing now or what you've been doing. And so embracing life's instincts to evolve is connecting with yourself first. And so how do I connect with myself? Why am I connecting with myself? Why do I need, it's very important, you know, um, it's extremely important. So with that being said, we, we're here to uh, guide each other. This is, a, this, is, this is not just me, it's you as well. It's us as well. And so we're starting from the ground all the way from the ground level, as you can see, um, it is just me. And I have one watcher, amen for that, holla at you. And, um, and eventually, hopefully, we can connect and build and, and build a community of individuals that are looking to embrace what they have inside of them. I, 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 my wife and I established Elite probably 2013 or 14. She has all of those details. But it comes from personal experience. Me specifically, I was in a broken place. And I uh, mean, in 2014, 15, I was destroyed, probably to the point where I contemplated suicide and wanted to give up on life, my purpose and everything that God has called me to do. And so with that, I, I made a decision. I made a choice. I said, you know what? I said, either I'm going to take a stand and change or I'm going to wither away. Now, that may seem like, ah, oh, you know like it's an easy thing but some people know it's not you know uh depression is real mental health is real and we go through so many things so many traumatic things in our lives whatever that may be but at that point in my life i, I had to, to make a decision and when i made that decision i prayed to god i said lord please allow me to not only help myself but with what you with with, with what you give me to help me understand how to return and my, my life to you help me to help other individuals that are going through the same thing and so that's what it's been since 2000 I want to say 16 until now I had a five-year plan 16 17 18 19 20 a five-year plan we're in 2020 now and I pray that in 2020 
that this year would be the breaking point for me to go from inwardly changing to outwardly expressing that change to individuals. And so this is what we wanted to create Elite for is to be a platform to help individuals, not only spiritually, but physically as well. Yes, it is a ministry, and yes, we are here to help individuals um, identify what it is that they need to identify it within themselves in order to take those next steps. And so we wanna take the time with you and connect with you to help you understand what it is that you can do to break yourself from one end of the spectrum of being hurt, being depressed, not believing in yourself, judging yourself, allowing others to judge you, to the other end of the spectrum of healing, um, being restored, um, redeeming it, the time, redeeming your purpose, and redeeming uh, the things that you thought will never be. And so I, I wanna let you know that if you take the time to embrace what you have right now, yesterday is gone, tomorrow we don't know if it's gonna come or not, but right now is the moment that you have to say, you know what? whatever I'm going through, whatever it may be. I, I can name a million different things that we're going through, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whether it's both. Whatever it is, you can take the time to say, you know what, I have been doing this and it's gotten me here. And if that here is still empty or considered to be nowhere, then you have the power and you have the, the ability to change the narrative right in that moment or in this moment. And so take that time to sit back and say, dang, what is it that I want to do? And that's what I did. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not unfamiliar with God. I'm not unfamiliar with uh, purpose. I'm not unfamiliar with um, uh, life and what it comes with. But as humans, as people, we're, we're, we are, we're built a specific way and we go so hard. And so, Knowing, like, I'm just going to use me as an example. Me, I, I didn't, I never spoke to people about my problems. I never spoke to people about what I was going through. I never reached out to my friends or my family to say, hey, I'm going through this or hey, I'm going through that. Pride, 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 pride. But you know what? I told myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to allow God to heal me. And I'm going to make the changes necessary and make the room necessary so that healing can take place. So I did it. That's what I did. I said, forget it. This is what it's going to be. And from that time to now, that's the road that I've been on. And so my wife and I wanted to form something around that because we're having discussions. You know, we were going through a lot of things in our marriage. We're going through a lot of things personally as individuals and together collectively um, in our family. And so, you know, we said, hey, let's 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 come up with something that will help other individuals once we see the other side of this. Once we come out of the the, the confusion and, and, and the, the depression and all of the things that hold us back, including what we hold ourselves back when, when we judge ourselves. And so that's what it was and, and that's what it is now. So that's what Elite is all about. You know, we've, we've been posting a few quotes and things of that nature, um, uh, pretty much pointing to the decision and the choices that we have. We have a choice, we have a choice. No matter what anyone tells you, you have the power to make a decision. You're teaching yourself through your actions and your actions are going to develop your livelihood or the atmosphere of how you live and your living, your living surroundings, the who, who you inter interact with, who you allow in your life or who you uh, uh, remove from your life and all of these different things. You're, you're, you're all the way from how you dress to um, how you shop, I mean, everything, anything revolving around your life, those are choices. And um, you take that power and you can use it to help you. We don't like to do that. I gotta turn my phone thing off. See, this is new, so I'm glad I'm doing this. This is the test run. I'm getting that call. What does Elite stand for? Embracing, embrace, embrace life's instincts to evolve. Embrace life's instincts to evolve. It is an acronym. Uh, the word elite, we broke it down into an acronym. Embrace life's instincts to evolve. And so in order 
for us to find our purpose, first we must find ourselves. In order for us to find God, we must find ourselves. In order for us to find and accept Jesus, we must find ourselves. And people say, how, how what is that way? How can we do that? Well, that's the power that God has given us. We, we must embrace what we, what we have and who we are. I, that's the first thing. The first thing is just embracing it. I'm here, I'm a man, I'm here, I'm a woman, I'm here, I'm whatever I'm going through, I'm whatever situation, this is what it is. I'm here, I'm a mess, I'm here, I'm jacked up, I'm here, I have destroyed myself by making bad decisions. We must embrace those things. Just, just, that, that is it, this is it, this is the truth, this is me. All of my emptiness, all of my brokenness, all of my nothingness, embrace those things. And life has always trumped anything of anything that's trying to to stop it that's just the, the the innate ability that god has given us in life and we're not even talking about the spiritual things just yet just embracing where we are and what we're going through and what it is in us that we need to acknowledge to help us move forward and so that embracing life is, is embracing you, embracing your understanding, embracing your pain, embracing your struggles, embracing everything that you've been through, whether it be good, bad, ugly, or beautiful, embracing it. And we wanna take those things that we embrace and then connect our instinctual properties, our innate abilities that we have, you know, our, 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 our ability to say, dang, naturally, what is it that I need to do to help me and we always have the answer but you know what we do we stop ourselves we stop ourselves you already know you always say dang i should have listened to it. i knew i wanted to do this and I, I thought about doing that and what do we ended up do end up doing not doing it not doing it today is an important day for me this video right now is an important video i am scared out of my mind i'm petrified but you know what i'm embracing this we've been working on this for months months and i said and i tell my wife hey we're, we gotta we gotta launch we gotta launch when you want to launch i don't know i don't know i'm pushing it back i'm pushing it back i was supposed to be making videos a long time ago but i i set a date and i set a time and i said i'm gonna stick with it this morning i got up you know what i was trying to do talk myself out of doing this video yeah yeah talk myself out of doing it but you know what i'm at the point now to where it's like it's now or never. It's do or die. What we going? What you want to do? How you want to do it, Jonathan? You talking all this stuff? Now you got to. Now you got to show and prove. And so it's like, you know what? Bet. That's it. That's it. Let's do it. Because I don't have a problem with being transparent. I don't have a problem with being open. I'm not looking to gain any popularity. I'm not looking for you to to worship me. No, I just want to help you just as much as I want God to help me. And in that we can help each other and connect with those that are like-minded that are looking to make a change in their lives whatever it may be because one thing i'm i'm not doing anymore i'm not judging myself forget the judge that's between my spirit and god i'm not judging myself anymore all i want to do is love myself i've done that enough and that's what i want to convey and that's what we want to convey in elite is to help individuals first help individuals first and with that individual, we can connect to families that are connected to that individual. And with those families that are connected to that individuals, then we can help the community. And that goes out and it's infectious. The energy of hope and purpose and faith, that's infectious. It's infectious. And the one thing about hope is it is the, it is the shovel to, to, to um, if you will, uh, it's the shovel to dig a hole to drop the seed of faith. Because if you don't have hope, you, you'll never reach faith. You know, if you don't believe and have a point of believing, you'll never reach what it is that you know you can attain based off of what is in you naturally. And all of us have abilities and we don't know what it is. And we look at other people and say, dang, I wish I can do that. Or dang, I wish I can do this. You can, you can. And that's what we want to come together collectively to say, hey, you can do it. Yes. I, I'm a believer in God. Yes, I am a follower of Christ. Yes, I am an ordained uh, a, a minister and a licensed pastor, but I am a person. You are a person. And what we want to do with the leaders to help people understand who they are and to understand what they are and what they possess 
through the choices, not only that they have made, but the choices that they can make in order to help them move forward. And that's what it is. That's all it is. And that's what we're here to do. We're not looking to do anything other than that. Now, maybe you say, oh, my life is okay. You know, my, you know, my, everything is all right. I'm not depressed. You know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And, you know, everything is fine. Hey, you fit into that category too, because as we all know, every day we have things that we come against in life. And we may not, we may not tell people, we may not express them openly, but we say to ourselves inwardly, and, and we, we need to know how to stay on a continuous path or a continuous rhythm to help ourselves in those moments. Yeah, you, everything is fine, but there's something that you have to tackle in terms of a challenge. Maybe it's internally or externally. And sometimes we run against obstacles and those things just, just hurt us or, or they stop us or, or, they, or they make us turn around and say, ah, I'll go the other way or we're closed in into a specific arena or area and we're not open to allowing others into that area or arena. We're closed in on saying, oh, oh perfect example, race. <laughs> we're closed in, I'm a black man. I ain't about to be around all these white people. I'm a white man, I ain't about to be around all these black people. We need to open ourselves, we need to open ourselves open ourselves and understand first we must forgive not only what we've done but others may have done to us and then we must challenge ourselves to be to be more intentional in what we're doing to learn uh, what others are going through or maybe to learn uh, what others are dealing with you know what I'm saying whatever that may be but there are things that we're blocking we're stopping you know what I'm saying we're stopping it we don't want that to I ain't about to do that I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because I've said that a thousand times. I ain't about to do that. That's crazy. You crazy? I'm not doing that. But guess what? I'm, I'm teaching myself to stop myself. I'm teaching myself to block myself. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't, I'm not no activist or nothing in terms of power to the people. I was just using that as an example. But it's a truth. It's a truth. It's a truth. It's a truth. Right now, the, 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 the height of this of this country right now is is bogged down by the pressure of the isms of race the isms of class the isms of economic the isms of social standings you know it's it's a people problem the color of my skin and others you know there's look at these trees behind me for example god created these this way he created us and there's a bazillion different breeds of trees there's a bazillion different breeds of bird that go in these trees there's there's you know what i mean i don't know if anybody caught what i was trying to say but you understand what i'm saying so we're all here and i just want to i just want to be a, a, a helping light and a guiding light for those that are looking to make that change if this is not for you hey this is not for you because i know this won't be for everybody we know this won't be for everybody, but there's somebody right now that's saying, man, I need to make a change in my life. You know, I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of allowing this weed to control me. I'm tired of allowing this drink to control me. I'm tired of allowing this girl to control me. I'm tired of allowing this phone to control me. I'm tired of allowing my mistakes to control me. I'm tired of allowing uh, things that, I, that don't matter to control me because I care about what people... You can make that choice. You can make that choice. You can make that choice. And we're here to help you understand how to make that choice, how to do it, because that's what I'm doing right now, specifically speaking about myself. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking to to do, be become better every day, better than I was yesterday and better than I was when I woke up this morning. And hopefully by the end of the day, I've grown to be better than I am right now. And that's what it's about, you know? That's what it's about, that's what it's about. And I wanna help other individuals that are looking to do that same thing. And some people might not know how to reach out and say, hey, can you help me? Cool, do like me. I have a lot of people that I look up to on social media, specifically speaking locally, that is here. Shout out to Shindig, shout out to, to, to West B. I see them and I say, dang, man, they, 
I want to get on that thing because it's I ain't, I'm not really this on the video, man. I ain't, that's not my thing. That's not me. I'm not an in front of the camera guy. Yeah, look at me. But I had to break that in order to understand what it is I needed to do to get here to help somebody. So you can watch someone and you we need examples. We need examples. So so you, you need to find examples to help you understand. So I want to be that example. I want to be that dude to say, you say, dang, somebody stroll through and see this video and be like, what is he talking about? What is this elite? What's going on there? What, what is that? And, and, and they start hearing the explanation and hearing what it is and say, dang, I do have a choice. I do. I can change. I can make a difference. But it first starts with us embracing what it is that we have now, what it is that we're dealing with right now. And so whatever it is that you're dealing with, just like I'm dealing with something right now, I'm afraid that I'm not going to do this right. I'm afraid that no one is going to listen. I'm afraid that maybe we're, my purpose is, is going to fail me because I believe what I believe against what God has purpose for me. Stepping out doing this video, I need to hear. Thank you. See, that's it. If, 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 I, if we're doing this just for you, Nikila, if we're doing this just for you, Nick, I, if we're doing this just for you, then, man, what? Come on. Come on. What? That's all that matters. That's all that. That's it. Now, I'm comfortable now. Thank you. I appreciate you for telling me that. And, and, I, and I pray. I'm going to pray at the end, and I'm going to pray for you and us together. And I just pray whatever that you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, that you will embrace what it is and that you will dig into it and that you will settle yourself to say, you know what? Yes, yeah, messed up if you believe it's yes, messed up. Yeah, it's unfortunate if the situation is unfortunate, but you'll stand your ground and you'll believe in yourself. And you'll believe in yourself to the point where you will move yourself from the pain and the hurt to the joy and, and the pure happiness. Because looking on the outside, on the outside looking in, as we look in other people's lives, we see people and we, we look at them, we think they're happy. They be smiling, they posting all this stuff, they going on trips or they doing things and we looking like, dang, I, I ain't, I ain't, that ain't, my life ain't like that. I, we get to judging ourselves, but we don't know what they're going through. We don't know what they're dealing with. We don't know what's going on, on behind closed doors. So give yourself a chance first. Because if they, those people would tell you what they're going through and what they're dealing with, you would be like, dang, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. What? I didn't know. But hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. And so I just want us to be intentional. Elite is, uh, 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 we're developing an online platform, utilizing the social media platforms to, to hopefully build a community of believers. Not, a, not only believers in God, but first, believers in yourself, because how can you say, God, I accept you when you don't even believe yourself who God created? And he created you to be you. He didn't create you to be anybody else. He created you to be you. Yes, you see other individuals that do things that you like, but you must do them in your own way. You got to do it in your own way. So what's stopping you? Is it you? Because a lot of times it's me. I'm going to just raise my hand. I ain't tripping. I stop myself. But I'm tired of stopping myself and then looking on the back end and saying, dang, what if I would have started? What if I would have did that five months ago? Even now, today, this is my, one of my first videos in a very long time. But what if I would have continued going when I first made a video back in 2019? What if I continue and built up the, the consistency and built up that groove? What if I would have did it? What? Wow. Just think about that. I do. And that pushes me to, to now. So it's like, you know what? Now we got to do it. So now that I'm doing it, now that I'm out here, you can hold me accountable and say, what's up, Jay? Where you, where you at? You said you wanted to do this. I sure, I sure see that you can do it. Saying, I'm speaking from your point of view. If you're encouraging me, say, man, you can do it. Like my sister right here. Hey, man, I'm glad you made this video. Those are the things that we need. And we need to speak about these things. We need to, we need to be open about stuff. More open than we are because... We're dealing with stuff, and we're in a time now where it's, what do you want to do? How you want to do it? We got technology. We have availability to connect with each other on a great level. 
And we use those things to hurt each other and ourselves. We use this, this, this technology, these devices, to hurt each other and ourselves. Appreciate it, E. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Love. We use these things to hurt ourselves. We'll talk about people, we'll, we'll, you know what I'm saying, that make mistakes like we do. We'll gossip about people, air out people's dirty laundry. We're doing all kind of stuff to hurt, hurt each other instead of doing what we need to do to help each other. And that's the way it goes. And I ain't, I'm not picking on nobody. I just want to tell the truth. That's it. I just want to tell the truth because I myself, I need every ounce of what God has for me. Every bit. I, ain't, I as much as much stuff that I've done to mess up, or, or or as much that I've done to hold myself back, man. Just to get to this point, let's just say, let's just say, it. for those that know me personally, for me to get to this point, if you know me personally and you understand, dang, bro, you was just doing this, this, and this a couple years ago to being at this point. At this point. I'm here in Waterloo, Iowa. I'm, I'm, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out to the uh, north side. You dig? And um, coming here was probably the best thing that I could do for myself. Best thing that I could do for myself and my family. Getting married to my wife, best thing I could do, to my, do for myself. Best thing that I could do for myself. Me taking responsibility for my mistakes and my mishaps and my actions, the best thing I could do for myself. Because now I, I don't, I got to turn this phone off. I'm not um, allowing those things to hold me back anymore because I would judge myself. Ooh, 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 ooh. I would judge myself to the point where I would be crippled and paralyzed because I felt like I was unworthy to do anything. And people like you that are on this live that's telling me, hey, Jake, good job. I'm glad you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Man, and I'd and I be like, what, God? You, what? I never thought that I could. I never believed that I could and until I understand that it's not about what I think about me. It's about the purpose that has, that has been placed in me. Hear me see me doing all kind of thing. <laughs> the purpose that's been placed in me. And, and, and that's, that's what matters. We can be our worst critics. And that's why we need somebody that's going to connect with us. Checks and balances. Checks and balances. Man, man, that is so important. So important. And me growing up, you know, um, my father, he taught me how to be a man. He left the household. My, him and my mother divorced when I was probably in the sixth grade or something like that. And so... I, I was given the proper vision and the proper understanding of what to see and how to to process it and do the right things. And so moving forward, my uncle, uh, uh, my God bless him, Apostle George Hutchinson, give, give, was was the, the the cementing individual that that let me know my purpose is in me. And, and from that point, with him, and and now I'm under the tutelage of of Bishop Brian Hill and Pastor Judea Hill, and they have imparted the understanding of what it is I need to do to allow my purpose out. My, and so now I'm at the point of, uh, of understanding my purpose and allowing my purpose out, and I had to forgive myself. I had to forgive myself. How do I, do, how do I forgive myself? How do I forgive myself? I'm so closed off, I don't allow anybody in. I'm extremely private. So I like doing this is like too much, but we got to do this. And so how can I, how can I, how, how can I connect with people? And what do I need to do to get, you know what I'm saying? And so I have to do things like this. And so that's what I've trying to try. I have been doing, and I'm going to continue to do is be intentional with my actions and to connect with people. And like I said before, I follow people and I watch people and maybe I, we don't have to, you don't have to know me personally. I don't have to know you personally. But if I see you doing something that is helpful to me, I'm going to watch. I'm going to say, dang, well, how did they do that? Because I need that. And I'm, and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to study and I'm going to research myself. And then, boom, I'm going to do it in my own way. And that's what we need. That's what we need. 
Let's see, how do you forgive yourself? I need to forgive myself. Okay, the first thing you do in order to forgive yourself, gotta get some water now, we own there, uh-oh. The first thing you do to forgive yourself is to first of all, just embrace that pain. And I'm speaking from a, a, a true experience, embrace the pain. Because when we hold stuff against ourselves, it's because we have a standard. And that means you have a standard. And when you go below that standard, it makes you feel less of. It makes you feel like, dang, I don't let myself down. I let my family down. I, how could I do this to myself? Embrace that pain. Embrace it. Hold on to it. Ooh, it's hurting. It hurts. It do. It does. But just, just let it allow yourself to feel it. Because we don't allow ourselves to feel that pain because we feel like, oh, we done messed up and now we can't go back. Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Embrace that pain. And then once you do that, once you say, all right, I did it. This is what it is. Now we have room to look at it and the situation because there are things that I've done in my past that I'm just now within the last four to five years revisiting. I didn't forgive myself. I wouldn't even let myself think about it because I, I didn't want to feel that pain, that hurt of me letting myself down or letting my family down or letting my kids down or, or, or being uh, uh, anything less than what I know I can be. So you, you embrace that pain and you allow that, you allow yourself to feel that and you take that energy to say, now let's go into these areas and look at what did I do wrong? Not to say, not to say what did I do wrong to judge yourself, but what did you do wrong so you can help yourself? Because there is a lesson in there. Every loss, inside of that loss, you pull out a lesson. And that's the whole point. And so we don't wanna feel that pain and we don't wanna embrace anything in terms of uh, our mistakes. And so we judge ourselves. But you look at that, you look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I could have did this right. I could have did this right. I could have did this right. And you look at those, those areas and you find it. You said, okay, all right, wherever I messed up then, I'm taking notes of what I could have did right. And now take a step forward. Take a step forward. Whatever it is that you're, whatever it is that you're holding against yourself, you take a step forward and you look at what at your your actions your intentional actions you're taking a step forward because when you you judge yourself you hold yourself back so if i was continuing to judge myself i would have held myself back from doing this video like i've been doing this whole time held myself back specifically speaking what, what have i held myself back from why have i held myself back from things what was i judging myself for one thing i judged myself for is being a, a, a horrible father horrible father and then i look and understand that, well, dang, you've been a little hard and harsh on yourself. Horrible father. You know, my firstborn, my daughter, she just turned 22. Man, I, I wasn't there for her the way that I should have been, that I was supposed to be. I, I, I was afraid of messing up to the point where I done messed up. And then I was like, dang. I, and that, that's one thing that would, man, that held me back from so much. So much. So much. And guess what? Guess what? My daughter, I love her to death. She has never, never, dad, never, never came at me like you horrible. You, 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 you ain't never been there for me. You, you, she ain't never put that inside of my face. Never. And look at me judging myself. And look at God. He, he, he utilized her to, and she's always loved me just for me. And she's had the right to say, man, you ain't did nothing for me. You ain't there for me. And you, you, you ain't connected with me. We don't have a relationship. And, and, I, and I will hold that against me. There's plenty of other things, but this is a prime example. I want to give something to you that's tangible. Prime example. I will hold that against myself. Man, I, I wasn't there for my baby girl. Man, I wasn't. But you know what she told me? Guess what she told me? She said... I have, you know, I got other children now. And she said, you be that to them that you weren't for me. What? What? Beautiful soul. I just told her, like, she has been monumental in me forgiving myself. Like, I, but if I didn't embrace the pain of, oh, man, you horrible. 
and honestly look myself in the, in the mirror and say, dude, you got to do better. And actually take those necessary steps to do that. Then I wouldn't be here. I would still be in the, what was me? God's grace and mercy. Man, you, God is a redeemer. Man, he is. And if you allow him to redeem you, this is how you allow him to redeem you. You forgive yourself. You make room. You say, you know what, God? I'm, like they say, come as you are. But you can't come as you are if you jacked up. You can't come as you are if you jacked up and holding yourself back. I'm jacked up, so I don't, I don't, I don't deserve anything. I'm out of will stay over here. Let me. No, God, here it is. This is what it is. I'm, I'm just unashamed. I just want. I know you know. So help me because I got to get out of my own way. Forgiveness is for you. Speak. Hey, come on now. Pump me up. Pump me up. Pump me up. I love that. I go off that energy. And so I just want to help. It, it, it's, it's people that's going through stuff. We need, we need, we need, we need love. We've been judged enough. And I'm coming from a personal experience, personal experiences of being judged. Even judging myself, being judged from others, and me even judging myself. Totally and completely. But it's up to us initially. You know, God has given us the power to do it. But we have to take it. We have to grasp it. We got to take it, take it. I'm not going to get in this, this it's water in this container, but I'm not going to get the water out of this container unless I take the necessary step to un, un, unlock the cap. And that's what we got to do. We got to unlock the cap and forgive ourselves and let that stuff pour out. Let it go. Let it go. And let him to refill your cup with pureness and refill your cup with joy and happiness by embracing what you have and taking what you know. And you're saying, you know what? I want to do better. I want to be this. I want to be that. Be intentional about doing that and do it. Go for it. I always said I wanted to help people. That's all I cared about is helping people, helping people because I want, I want to be helped. And I always look for help. I'm always reaching out and looking and seeing who, I oh man, who can I connect with that's going to help me, that's going to guide me, that's going to give me the right information that's going to help propel me and push me forward. And so we have, we have, we have a, a, a mission. We have three models, three objectives. We want to learn. First, learn, learn, in, in the case of, of, of the individual that asked me about forgiveness, first learn to love yourself and learn to forgive yourself and, and, and stop judging yourself. And with that information and understanding, you're going to grow. You're going to grow. Once you learn to stop, stop judging yourself, once you learn to forgive yourself, once you learn that you have a purpose and you have a choice and you have an understanding, ooh, as the sun is hitting my face, you're going, ooh, ooh, you're going to grow. You're going to grow. And when you grow, you're going to make room for you to move around and do something that's important. And once you make room, you're going to advance. Advancement is the key. You're going to go from where you were to where you want to be and all the way to your purpose. And that's what it is. We want to learn, we want to grow, and we want to advance. And that is the cycle. You repeat that every day, every moment, every situation, whatever's going on. You take the time to learn about it, learn about yourself in it, understanding in it. And, okay, we got it. We're learning. We're learning. And we're growing with the information. And we're growing with the information. And then once we grow, then we have enough room to advance. But a lot of times, we, we, we don't want to take any steps. We want to pretend, oh, I got it, and this is what we do. We, oh, I got it, and we just walk right out of frame. No, nah. no, nah, let's stay in focus. Let's stay in frame. You know, in order to forgive yourself, you must learn to love yourself and not judge yourself. For real, be, be honest with yourself. You are a good person. You have a pure heart. For you to even say, how do I forgive myself? Anybody that holds stuff against themselves, they have a pure heart. Because there are people that don't care. They do not care. They'll do anything and sleep good at night. And I had to learn that. I had to learn that. And I, once I figured out, wow, I am somebody. I, I, I thought I was evil. I thought I was, you know, almost to the point of demonic. Like, I'm just horrible. But no. No, if you are judging yourself, you care. You have a standard. You have a standard and you have dropped below that standard. And now that is anybody that has a standard and dropped below it. Oh, my goodness. It's like, man, I done messed up. So you realize, man, I have a standard. And instead of me holding myself 
back because I, I, sometimes you do. You drop below that standard. But guess what? You can get back on that thing. You can get back up there. But you got you to gotta embrace, okay, I messed up. We got to get back on the horse. We got to get back on the bike. We got to get back in the fight. We got to get back in the arena. We, okay, yeah, I messed up. I got hit in the jaw. Bow. Ooh, it hurt it. It hurt it. Everybody's seen it. I'm embarrassed. I, oh, oh, my goodness. They're going to be talking about me, but guess what? Let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Because there are people that are supporting you right now and saying you can do it. And you, you, you thinking that don't matter. That's all that matters. And the same people that's talking about you, saying you ain't going to be nothing, and this, that, and the third. And once you start the shining and climbing, start feeling good, <laughs> they're going to be coming to you in secret saying, you know what, how, how did you do that? How, how did you do that? And the same ones that was laughing at you, same one that was talking about you, same one that was saying you crazy and, and you this and you that, same ones that won't forgive you. I know it's people right now that still ain't forgave me, and I pray that they and that pray I pray that they do. But you know what? I have forgiven myself, and I'm free. I am free, and and I'm willing to have a reconnection or whatever it is to help me allow you the freedom too. But you know what? I'm not about to hold myself back no more. Yeah, I done messed up, but now I done got up, dusted myself off, <laughs> take my little stuff, threw it in the washer. You dig? Do my little stuff back on, and we coming back to it. We about to go do it. This ain't no pretend. We're going to do this to the end because we got to win. <laughs> we got to win. We got to win. We're, we're destined to win. We're destined to win. That's why we, be, we were fought by the enemy so much because we have the upper hand. He going to get in your mind, sow that seed, and dip. And guess what? That seed is going to grow. You're going to embrace the seed of deceit. And you're going to hold on to that and drop your purpose. Nah, man, I'm picking my purpose up and I'm throwing that deceit on the ground. I'm good. I didn't held that enough. I've been hurt enough. I've cried enough. I've been depressed enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm straight. I didn't talked about myself enough. I didn't watch people dish rag me because they knew I was in a depressed state and I allowed it. They knew I wasn't in the right mind. They knew my heart was broken from depression. And they just running right over me and I allowed it. I laid there. Nah, not no more. I'm getting up. Getting up. Getting up. Arise. Arise. What is it? Who was it? Who was it in the, in the Bible? I think it was Lazarus. Don't quote me because I do not, you know, I know of it, but I'm not a Bible scholar. So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but hey, man, women, young people. Anybody, everybody. Welcome to Elite. It's time to go Elite. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is it. This is it. If you want to be, if you want to be giving some information that's going to help you, not only pump you up, because yeah, I'm going to try to pump you up. Yeah, I'm going to try to gas you. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to give you some substance that is going to help you, though. Because some people don't like to hear this. I remember, I, I don't know people be telling me, Jonathan, you fake because you always be trying to be so, uh, no, I don't, what you want me to be, down? No, I love to be happy. I love joy. I love smiles. I love the good energy. And some people can't stand that. Oh, uh, that's just, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. And they mad. They evil. Fine, stay evil because I'm about to be, <laughs> you see that? You see the smile? Jeez, I ain't got time to be, I, man, woman, I done cried enough. So if you're dealing with something, I'm sorry. I apologize. My energy is, is upsetting you. That's, gotta be, that's between you and, your, you and you. You and God specifically, but you and what you tripping off of, because God ain't got you acting like that. You got you acting like that. You didn't let the enemy sow that seed. You didn't held on to the deceit. And now you're just going to sit in the hand of defeat. That's what makes you weak. Ain't that rhyme? Come on now, holla at me. That's what makes you weak versus you drop that deceit. You, no, and you pick up your purpose and you say, this is what we about to do. We about to work towards getting it right. Because anytime that you want to do something different, who and right too, you got to do something right. It's hard at first. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. 
But you keep going and, and see what happened. You keep going and see what happened. And you done did it. You've done it a bazillion times. You learned how to walk. You learned how to talk. You learned how to drive. You learned how to dress nicely, fashionable. For women, you learn how to put the makeup on all, you put the hair together. And, you know, for men, you learn how to, you know, get the workout on and, you know, get all, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be this big, you know, you learn straight up. Real talk. You learn how to get to the money. You learn how to stack that bread. At first you was broke and now you, now you got money stacks all the way up here. You, you got to, you learn. You learn. You apply for the school and, and you learn. First you didn't have a degree and you went through the, the course and the recommend, recommend the requirements and all of the things that you have to, 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 to meet the standards and you got the degree. You learned. You did it. You've done it. It's been done. It's proven. You had a, you 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 weren't a parent and then you became a parent and and every day you figure out how to to make a way for your your seed. Come on now, you learn. Ain't no and, and especially in that ain't no ain't no rule book to parenting. Ain't no rule book to marriage. And there is no rule book to you being you as an individual. You have to find out who you are. You have to find out what it is in you that you're willing to say that is my purpose. That is me. And that's me all day. I'm I'm holding on to that. And this is what I want to do. And people are going to support you and back you up in it. And they're going to see that, dang, wow, how, what, man, they are thriving in that. I, that's what I want to do, too. I want to do that. I want to do that. And then guess what? A lot of times we say, but I, I ain't nobody. I ain't no good. I, you know, we talk ourselves right out of it. Next time I'm going to have a chair, I'll sit up. Look, I, hold on. Look, this, this is what we do. This is what we do. I ain't nobody. I, I ain't. We just sit out the way. We sit out the way. Why are we sitting out the way? What you sitting out the way for? Come on, man. Get back in the game. Get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Not in the way of God's glory, like that sun is shining on me, but get in the way of you and your negative thoughts. Get in the way of that. Get in the way of you talking yourself out of stuff. You get in the way of that. You stand up, and every time you do something against what you think in your mind, negatively about yourself, oh, I think I can't do it. Look, man, it took me, man, I, I promise you, I got up like at like probably 6 o'clock this morning. My stomach was in knots because my body knew, yeah, fool, today today you talking all that talk. Is you going to do the video? Is you going to do it? And if I would have stayed... In that in that discomfort zone of, no, I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna come up with excuses. I ain't gonna. No, I got in the way. I said, no, we about to do this. I got my tripod. I got all my little stuff. I had to figure out things. Now I'm learning stuff and I'm understanding how to do this. Yeah, yeah, let's do this because I'm getting in love with the challenge of climbing out the hole. Like all I care about is climbing out the. Hole. I love climbing out the hole now. What? The confidence? What? <sighs> That's all I'm I, I'm in love with the process of loving myself. I'm in love with the process of growing. I'm in love with the process of becoming a better person. Do you know how long it took? You can do it too. You can do it too. I ain't have no script. I ain't had I just knew that I had to make a video today. Now, other, there are going to be other videos that are going to be predetermined, already pre-planned, and we're going to have points and precepts and things of that nature. But no, we got to come straight, straight raw. This is this this is what I love to do, straight off the top, straight off the top. Lord, give it to me, and I'm giving it to you, because guess what? When I get done, I'm going to think about and watch this video and say, "Dang, Jones, you right. You, I'm gonna watch it like I'm like I didn't like I didn't just say this." Like, I, like I'm you. I'm watching it like you. Like, dang. I'm taking notes or stuff. I didn't even know that. You right. And it's going to reinforce things that I feel about myself. There's still insecurities I have. I have doubts. I have insecurities. I have things that I'm holding against myself even now. And I'm still learning to heal. Heal. But guess what? I done climbed up. I'm, on, I'm at the top of the hill. I remember being at the bottom of the hill. Woo, it was it was like I'm looking like golly I gotta get up there. And now we here and it's like I'm I'm now I'm falling in love with getting better. 
It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And to the point where I see somebody that I know that they're going through something. And instead of me running up on them and busting them out, we'll make this video. Because you're going to see me on the back end. That's a fact. You're going to see me somewhere in traffic or you're going to see me with somebody or doing something. You're going to be like, dang, buddy, I remember buddy talking about such and such and such and such. And that helped me. That's what, that's what it's all about. This is that passive aggressive because I don't got to come straight directly to you and tap you on the shoulder, but you can look at this at your own leisure and say, dang, I needed that. I needed that. And I know somebody needed because I know I need it. I'm not exempt. You crazy? What? I'm, I'll be, I'm looking at everything I can to help me. I just bought this book, this book on Sunday, and it's basically... A, a, a book on you getting out of your own head you getting out of your own way because i'm so i'm such a thinker and i'm extremely sensitive so i'll put myself on the back burner it's something about the ak say it baby it's something about them joneses ain't it it's all love baby it's all love and i just want to connect with you in a real way it do not matter it ain't about it ain't about your mistake it's about learning from it it's about growing from it and it's about advancing away from that behavior or those decisions it's about moving forward that's what it's all about that's what it's all about because i'm doing this now i'm i'm i'm, I'm we're gonna keep going so when that memory come back that you know what i'm saying a year from now and i'm gonna be looking like dang look at god look at what happened look at what i look at what we did because I didn't get in my way. I didn't stop myself. I didn't judge myself. I didn't abuse myself. I didn't sit on my purpose and I didn't sit on my gift, but I allowed my understanding of me being free and, and the growth of me now to move forward to do this to help somebody so they can do it for themselves. Because there are people we need, man, the time has shifted. The paradigm has shifted. So now we need individuals that have pure intentions. Everybody want to be on, everybody want to be seen, everybody want to be the center of attention. And that's what, that's another thing. I'm like, man, I, ain't, I come from an era where that's Front Street, bro. We don't do that. We ain't about to be all on the camera. No, stop all that. No, we don't do that. But if I'm not, if I don't put myself in front of what's, this, this camera and I don't express these things, then how is somebody going to see it? They're going to listen to the fake. They're going to listen to the wannabes, the... Follow me and worship me. Nah, uh, uh, no, nah, I'm I'm jacked up just like you. It's just it's just so happened that God has purposed me to help, and that's what all I want to do. That's it. That's it. I don't even like telling people I'm a pastor and a minister and all that stuff because they already pre prejudge me. They already. I'm the bootleg pastor. This like I did my first funeral by myself here in Waterloo, and this lady. God bless her. I appreciate her. She helped me more than she realized. You know what I'm saying? Her husband had passed, and there was another pastor that she wanted to do it, do the funeral. And I was like the guy, you know, the little, who was this? And she called me straight up to my face, a bootleg preacher. This old bootleg preacher, who is this? He's a nobody. And, and that, that kept me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that. I'm a nobody. I ain't nothing. That's going to keep me grounded, baby. I ain't nothing. I understand the office, I understand the purpose, but I ain't nothing and nobody. Put me in the back row. You ain't got to give me all of this. You know how you know how I go. You come on, you know. No, I ain't nobody. Nope. I just want to help. We just want to help. I know you want to help. I know you want to help. If I'm t look, it's three of them in here. We 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 hey, we getting to it cuz I even if y'all wasn't in here, I'd be talking to the camera, looking at the the red live, but I'm looking at three eyes. We we can do this. We got this. We own whatever we're going through. We can do this. We got this. First, we need to learn. And this is going to be, this is like, you going to, this is going to be repeated, 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 learn. Then we're going to grow. Then we're going to advance. Say it with me, class. Learn.
Yeah, the, somebody trying to <laughs> call me. Learn, grow, and advance. See, right now I'm learning how to do this. I ain't, I'm not familiar with going live and all that. I had to find a spot and set it up, and the sun came out and everything worked out. And now my phone is ringing. Somebody's trying to call me to handle some business, and now I'm in the real middle of recording. So now I have to turn some stuff off. So you know what I mean? You got to make them adjustments. And that's what learning is about. That's what stepping out is about. There you go. Learn, grow, and advance. And once you learn something, you start doing it, you start learning, you get some stuff. Once you get out there, you get some. Thank you. There we go. Learn, grow, and advance. And, and it does not stop. Just like the hours continue to rotate and the sun and the moon continue to rotate, that is an equation that will equal prosperity every time. You learning with the pure heart, you're growing with the pure heart, and you're advancing with the pure heart and purpose. It's always going to work in your favor. Now, if you're trying to be evil, that ain't what I'm talking about, and you know what I mean. You get that. But if you, if you, your pure intentions and you and you really giving it your all, he God honors that. And you be thinking you don't deserve it, and God is shining on you right now. He's shining on you. Man, do you understand? I didn't think I deserved nothing in my life. He's given me everything. I have a wonderful wife, a beautiful family, amazing people that support me. It's crazy, man. Crazy. 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 I don't even know how long I've been going, but we about to conclude this with a nice prayer, thanking God for today. Thanking God for the individuals that are on here. Thanking God that we have a, a, a understanding of we need to continue to learn, continue to grow, and continue to advance. And thanking God for a new beginning. Because all of all of you are on here that are watching me right now, you are, are making the choice to say, this is the time I'm going to take the stance for me for a new beginning. Because if you do it for you, you're doing it for your family. If you do it for you, you're doing it for others. If you do it for you, others can see that you're serious and sincere and they will accept it and receive it. Don't worry about those that, that's going to hold those, those that's going to keep holding it against you. Because they are. Just be ready. They're going to try to bring it up. Oh, remember when you remember. But listen, they're going to say remember. They're going to have to bring up something. They're going to have to pull it out of the versus what's going on right now. What am I been doing right now, though? Huh? I can't. Huh? What about that, that, that? Y'all, you don't want to say nothing about that. Huh? Huh? You ain't been seeing me working hard this past six months to a year. You ain't been seeing me work hard this, this past month. You ain't been seeing me work hard this. Come on, we got this. We're going to do this. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to go elite. All right? Y'all with me? Y'all is with me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, we're going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you, Father God, for your purpose. We thank you and praise you for life, Father God, for allowing us to have one, for allowing us to wake up with purpose, Father God. And specifically speaking, we pray for those, Father God, that have didn't wake up on this morning and may have transition on. We pray for the families of those that have lost a loved one, Father God. We pray for healing and understanding in their hearts and their minds and their spirit, Father God. Allow them to be ministered to by your spirit, Father God, your ministering angels, Father God. And right now, specifically speaking, Father God, the individuals that have uh, uh, come on to this direct live, Father God, and that have purpose in their minds and their hearts and they're intending to forgive themselves. So, Father God, I pray right now that you forgive us right now. I speak life, Father God, through your blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, and you forgive us right Right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, and, and cleanse us right now, Father God, of all of our unrighteousness and guide us, Father God, to your purpose and your light right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for purpose. We thank you for praise. We thank you for understanding. And we pray right now that you give us what we need to do exactly what you've called us to do right now. Shine on us, Father God, like the sun is shining on me right now and this earth and everyone in it and everyone that is surrounded, Father God, with life. And we just thank you right now for a second chance. We thank you for purpose and we thank you, Father. God for giving us everything we need in us to do everything we're pur purposed to do. Right now, I thank you for the individuals that may watch, watch this video on the back end and they may, that may find it somewhere and, and stumble upon it, Father God, and see that there is something in it that has a, a substance that they can utilize to help them, Father God. Help all situations. Help every home, Father God. I speak life to every situation on every individual that, that, that is seeking you and that is looking for the, the moment of change where they find it, they receive it, and, and, they, and they advance in it. And we thank you for the 
the for the learning. We thank you, Father God, for the growing, and we thank you for the advancement. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. We got it. We got this. We got this. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. You know, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm over here. I hear the, I hear the, uh, it's a train, it's a train station back here. I hear the men working and I know they hear me, you know, and I pick the field, try to be out the way, but now I'm about to be more intentional with where I record. I mess around and start recording downtown somewhere or something. You ain't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate all of you that are on this live. Please share this. Please comment. Please, uh, uh, like this, love it, however you want to do. Please help us make a digital imprint um, and, and gain ground in digital real estate because this is going to be the nucleus of our ministry is online for right now. And we just want to connect with individuals that are looking to connect with their purpose. All right. Y'all with that? I'm with it too. We're going to go get it. Shout out to everybody. I can't, I, I ain't even going to name no names. This is our first video. We appreciate everyone. Shout out to everybody in Omaha. Shout out to everybody that's here in Waterloo. Shout out to my peoples that's in Chicago. Shout out to everybody that that love and support us personally and that follow us, that support us. Uh, shout out to everybody that has helped me become a better me, that has forgiven me, that has loved me, that has done anything for me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And it's because of you that I am here. And it's because of God's purpose that I am here. And it's because of me learning to get out of my own way that I am here. And so we have all done this together and we're going to continue to do this together. All right. We can do it. We got it. Everybody, listen, let's learn. Let's grow and let's advance. Let's learn to understand what we need to make room for us. So, so when, when, once we get our footing, we can make room to move. And when you got room to move, things happen. Things happen. Appreciate you. Love you. See you next time. Peace.